bitch. I'm Ezekiel Thompson the third, heir to the Thompson fortune, and you got a lot of guts pulling your midnight creep on my wife. Now come on out. I don't think so. You're gonna hit me. Well, I'm gonna do more than hit you. I'm gonna cave your skull in. Now come out and face me like a man, you trembling coward! To think that Martha would let a bisexual pervert like you into our bed is ridiculous! But I'm not a- Whoa! You need to calm it down! Don't tell me to calm down. You came into my room, defiled my wife, where I sleep! Martha has no reason to let a pool boy like you into our bed. Sure, we don't go on dates like we used to. And we don't spend a lot of quality time together like we used to. But life isn't about fun and games. It's work. It's hard work building a relationship with someone you just want to be with. All the time invested into someone is like the bricks used to build your relationship. And you came in like a sledgehammer and destroyed it! Well, I don't like to brag, but... <laughs> Bitch, get back here! Fine, just make it quick and please, not the head. I want an open casket. Like I give a shit what you want. You didn't care what I wanted when you slept with my wife. How could you do this to us? You violated the sanctity of our marriage. And why Martha anyways? You could have had anyone. Why my Martha! You seemed like a respectable person. I didn't think we'd have to keep an eye on you. Look, she came on to me! You're lying! No! I swear! It was her idea. She said you wouldn't get home till later tonight and... Well, you've seen her! How could I say no? Look! Mr. Thompson, I have worked for you for about a year or so, and from what I can see, this hasn't been the happiest relationship. I mean... You guys have been drifting apart since I met the two of you, and you said it yourself. When was the last time you took her out on a date, huh? Have you noticed throughout all of this, you never once said that you loved her? I just want to know where it went wrong. Looking back, there were signs. But I thought, I thought we would stick it out because we promised. Why would you stick it out when no one's happy in that situation? Is that really healthy for anyone? I mean, no. Uh, How long have you guys been married anyways? A couple of years. <clears throat> it looked great on paper. I had money because of my dad. She had more. We had the big fancy wedding and an exotic honeymoon. Came home to the expensive house and a gated community. <laughs> I thought we'd be happy. 
thought things would work out, but guys were always fighting, never on the same page, burned too bright too quickly. It was amazing in the beginning. But it's over, isn't it? <laughs>